In this video, I will show you how you can install Fedora on a USB drive. This will not be a live USB drive meant primarily for testing, this will be a full Linux installation on a USB drive. That means that you can also update the system and everything you do or change on the USB drive will be saved back to the drive. But before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. In previous videos I installed many Linux distributions on a USB drive, like Ubuntu, Manjaro, Kali Linux, Pop OS and DevOS, Chrome OS and the list goes on and on, and I also probably covered your favorite distro. So for instance, if you are interested how to install Zorin OS on a USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. I am now here on the official Fedora website and first what we need to do, we need to download the latest ISO. At the time of recording, the latest release is 38, so let's click on that. We have five versions that we can choose from. We have Fedora Workstation, Fedora Server, IoT, Cloud and Containers. We want the desktop version, so we will go with Fedora Workstation. Click on Download now. We want Intel and AMD, so click on the download link. Now let's wait for the download, it has 2 gigabytes. Download complete, and I also want to try out the Fedora Media Writer, so I will download this one for Windows. Download complete. Here are the two files. The downloaded ISO contains the live environment with the installer, and now we need to flash this one on a USB drive. Afterwards we will use this live environment and install the full Fedora Linux on a second USB drive. So yes, we will need two USB drives. The first USB drive with this live environment can be any off the shelf stick, it doesn't really matter. But the second USB drive with the full Fedora installation should be a more faster one, it should have a decent read write speed. Otherwise the whole system will be very slow, you will get really frustrated and it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. So with that said, let's flash this one on a USB drive and therefore we will use this Fedora Media Writer. So let's run this one and let's quickly install it. Perfect. Here it is. Now, plug in the first USB drive for the live environment, the off-the-shelf stick. I will do it as well. It has already recognized my USB drive and we want to select the ISO. Next. Click on select. This is the one. Down here make sure your USB drive is selected. Before we continue, if you have anything important on the USB drive, then make a backup first, because everything what is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue and select write. And now let's wait. Perfect, finish and close. The USB drive with the live environment is now ready and now we need to boot into it. As in my previous Linux installation videos, I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive. In case you don't, you plug in the USB drive, you restart the system and then while the system is restarting you press one of the function keys. Usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. And then you will get the boot menu and inside the menu select the USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you in the live environment. Here we are inside Fedora live environment. You can try out Fedora without installing, but since this is a live environment, everything you do will not be saved back to the drive and after you restart or boot in again, everything will be resetted as it was before. In our case we want to install Fedora. I will just go with the defaults, so English is ok. Now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive for the full Linux installation. I will do it as well. Now select install destination. Here select the USB drive that you just plugged in. In my case this is the one. Then down here, where it says storage configuration, select custom and select done. Now this partitioning screen is a bit weird, but here we want to select create them automatically. Now it has created all partitions for us. If you want, you can go through those partitions and check what the file system will be. 
by default is BTRFS or how they call it ButterFS. If you want, you can change that to standard partition, ext4 for instance, but I will leave it as it was. We are done partitioning. Here you will get a quick summary what will be done. And I need to mention that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. If you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will accept the changes and continue. And begin installation. My head is in the way. Click on that one. And now let's wait. Perfect, installation finished. And now we need to boot into this newly installed Fedora Linux. So again, you will need to restart your machine. Open the boot menu and then inside the boot menu select the newly installed USB drive. We don't need the live USB drive anymore, so make sure you don't boot into the live environment again. I will restart my machine as well and I'll see you in the newly installed Fedora Linux. So let's do it. Here we are inside the fully installed Fedora Linux running from a USB drive and we already got the welcome screen. Let's click this away. Here you need to add your user and give it a strong password and we are done. Let's just quickly see what we have. So we are running kernel 6.2 and GNOME version 44. You can use this USB drive on basically any machine you want, you plug it in and boot into Fedora. And you can use it as a normal system, you can update the system, you can install packages and basically do everything what you can also do with a normal Fedora installation. If you like the videos I make and also want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page, the link should be up there or down in the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.